Hi! So today we're going to talk about offshore the tops. Now these are everywhere right now because it's quite in trend. I personally am a fan because uh, I like my shoulders and it doesn't feel like I'm overly exposed. Like I don't wear low cut stuff a lot because I feel very very exposed. Plus I don't like my rib cage. So this kind of covers my very bony chest area. So a few tips on wearing the off-shoulder top. One is get the right undergarments. Um, I cannot stress enough because this sometimes slips around. We'll get to that in a bit, but wearing the right bra really helps. Honestly, if you are small like me, if you're A cup or a smallish B, you can get away with just wearing nipple stickers. I used to wear the paper kind, but now I've moved on to the silicone uh, nipple covers and they're really comfortable, they're reusable and it means no slipping bra and no bra lines. Okay, the second thing to remember is proportion when you're wearing the off-shoulder top because because so much, well the top kind of only starts here, it shortens your body by a lot and for fellow short-bodied friends like myself, this can be a problem. Uh, so just make sure you balance it out with something in the bottom, like you could wear a longer off-shoulder top like in this case, I have on a cropped one, so that's a bit tricky because it does make my body look a lot shorter. I think that when I wear a cropped off-shoulder top, for me, it works a little better when I wear it with shorts because then it doesn't seem like my body is as short or it looks more flattering somehow. Uh, so I'll say play around with proportion. Um, also the fit, right? So if you are generally small, chested, I think more fitter off-shoulder tops look good if you are Slightly bustier, you might want to go with a looser fit. I do generally think the off-shoulder look works better if you are flat. Because um, it can make you look a bit mumsy if you're extremely well endowed. The other thing about off-shoulder top is the fit. So make sure that if you have an elastic a little bit of elastic at the shoulder that helps a lot uh, it could be a look also it can't be too loose or it's gonna fall off your shoulder like I tried this top in three different sizes I'm not even kidding the size that I usually wear was a bit loose so I went down one and then I went down two because it was really loose and then that was too tight so I went down one and so just make sure that this fits just nice it should fit snugly not feel like you're like suffocating but it also should not slip off your shoulder uh, another tip is another thing to note about off shoulder tops are these are not the most practical tops like i would not wear these if i were moving house i would not wear these on a plane because you have to put stuff onto you know the place where you put your oh my gosh why can't i say that where you put your cabin bag you need to actually reach up and if you do that this is gonna happen. I'm sure like if you've worn off shoulder tops, you know, then you have that awkward moment where you have to pull it back to desired spot, which is not very glamorous. So I would say wear these when you don't have to have a whole lot of arm movement because these are a bit restrictive, I will admit, but fashion first, darling. Finally, the whole point is wear to off shoulder. So there are many ways you can do this. You can wear it up high. Obviously, this is not off shoulder anymore, but you can wear it just slightly here. I actually find this to be the most flattering place that the off-shoulder should be but it's kind of difficult to keep it here unless you stick it or nail it to your body. Uh, they generally tend to go like this so that's like totally horizontal which I also like because it makes the shoulders look wider and then you have the kind that's really low which I think it's a bit unflattering personally because it looks like you have droopy shoulders so I like to wear mine slightly higher. So those are my tips on how to off-shoulder. Remember, these are not the most practical tops, but we're not talking practical, we're talking fashion. So if you want to do it, uh, these are my tips. Let me know in the comment box down below if I missed out anything or if you have tips to share with me as well because I love my off-shoulder tops and I have so many, way too many. Otherwise, I'll catch you on Facebook, on Instagram and on Twitter. Bye!